Today we will modify the PID line following program to work as a gyro guided drive block. You can replace all the steering or tank drive EV3 blocks with this block to handle all your robot moves in your mission. Start by opening the PID line following my block and copy everything but the play button in the my block variable block. Open a new program tab and paste in the program. Connect the play button to the program. Left click and drag to copy the brakes right block. Click on one of the brakes variable boxes and click add variable and type in pivot. On the remaining brakes block, select true in the right value. From the red tab, drag in a math block. Drag copy the brakes block and change to right numeric. In the variable box, select add variable and type minimum power. On the math block, select the division operation. Drag copy the last error block and change to read numeric and select variable power. Connect read power to A on the math block and type 2 in the B tab. Connect the output to write minimum power. Drag copy a right block and select add variable in the variable box and type heading. Now scroll over to the PID loop. We need to delete the read light intensity block and replace it with a read gyro degrees block. Set the gyro port to 3. Drag copy a variable block and select read numeric. In the variable box, select heading. Connect the gyro output to A on the math block and connect read heading to B on the math block. Your robot now knows how far it is off course or the error. Scroll down and expand the bottom of the loop and move the exit conditions down. Next, we will insert a two-sided switch and move the connection wire from the line of code above and connect to the switch. Change the switch to type logic. Stretch the switch across three quarters of the loop. Then expand the upper and lower switch bars a little. Now drag the row of steering commands into the false or X side of the loop. Drag copy a variable block, change it to read logic, and select pivot. Connect pivot to the switch logic input. Edit the description to explain that the PID is now correcting the robot so that it follows the heading. Copy the description up to the positive side of the switch and type Use PID corrections to pivot robot in place until it reaches the desired heading. Drag copy a read block and select correction. Drag a math block from the red tab. Select the absolute value operation. Connect the correction block to the input of the math block. Drag copy a read block and select minimum power. Drag a compare block from the red tab and connect the output of the math block to A on the compare block. Then connect the minimum power to B. Change the compare to greater than or equal to. Drag copy the last switch block in the exit logic into the pivot side of the switch, then delete the contents of the chew or check side of this switch. Copy the correction code from the bottom side of the switch into the empty box above. Disconnect all the variable connectors so we can modify them easily. Move the B motor block in front of the C motor block. Turn the two math blocks into advanced blocks. Even though the video shows three, we'll, we will just copy one later anyway. Change the formula in the first box to A plus absolute value of B. Connect power to A input of the first math block. Then connect correction to B. Change the formula in the second box to 
a times open parentheses b divided by absolute value of b close parentheses times c. Type, type 1 in the c block. Drag copy the second math block and change c to negative 1. Connect the output of the first math block to the A tab of both the second and third math blocks. Connect the correction read block to the B tab of the second two math blocks. Connect the output of the third math block to the B motor block. Connect the output of the second math block to the C motor block. Copy the blocks and paste to the true side of the switch. Delete the first math block. Connect power to the A tab of both math blocks. Drag copy a read block and select error. Drag a math block from the red tab and select the absolute value operation and connect error to A on the math block. Select a compare block and select less than or equal to. Connect the output of the math block to the A tab of the compare block and type 2 in the B tab. This is what error you're, you're willing to have on your turn. You could select one if you wanted to tighten your error. Drag a briefcase from the red tab and set it to write logic and select exit. Then connect the output of the compare to the exit briefcase. Next, make sure the end of the PID code is connected to the start of the switch block. It is important to calculate the error before checking to see if the error is less than 2. Otherwise, the block may end without turning the robot. Make sure if any code got disconnected, you reconnect it. We need to modify the exit condition for rotations to handle the fact that we modified this program to allow moving forward plus backward. First, select the check or true side of the first exit logic loop. Then insert a math block from the red tab and select the absolute value operation. Reconnect the output of the first math block to the absolute value input. Then connect the output of the absolute value to the A tab of the compare block. Drag copy the absolute value block and place it after the degrees briefcase. Reconnect the degrees briefcase to the input of the new absolute value block. Then connect the output of the B tab to the compare block. Next, zoom out and select everything except the play button. Then from the tools menu, select my block builder. Type gyro PID drive in the name and type the following as the description. This my block uses the gyro to drive straight in order to make pivot turns to the desired heading. Select the steering icon for your my block. Add 10 variables. Select the parameter setup tab and in the name box type power. Select the vertical slider and set default to value to 75 or whatever you typically use for competition programs. Set the min to negative 100 and the max to 100. Select the parameter icon tab and select the power icon. Select the second variable and then select the two bar signal icon. Select the parameter setup tab. In the name box, type KP, select the vertical slider and set minimum to zero and maximum to 50 and default to two. Select the third variable. In the name box, type KD, select the vertical slider and set minimum to zero, max to 100 and default to four. Select the parameter icon tab and select the four bar icon. Select the fourth variable, then select the circle with an arrow icon. Select the parameter setup tab, then the name box type heading. Select the vertical slider and set minimum to negative 180, maximum to 180, and default to zero. Select the fifth variable, in the name box type pivot, Select data type logic and select default to false. Select the parameter icon tab and select the turn icon. Select the sixth variable, 
then select the number of rotations icon. Select the parameter setup tab. In the name box, type degrees, select the horizontal slider, and select minimum to negative 9999, and maximum to 9999, and default to zero. Select the seventh variable. In the name box type black threshold, select the vertical slider and set minimum to zero, maximum to 40, and default to zero. Select the parameter icon tab and select the black icon. Select the eighth variable, then select the white icon. Select the parameter setup tab. In the name box, type white threshold, select the vertical slider, and set minimum to zero, maximum to 90, and default to zero. Select the ninth variable. In the name box, type range inches, select the vertical slider and set minimum to zero, maximum to 80, and default to zero. Select the parameter icon tab and select the range in inches icon. Select the 10th variable, then select the stopwatch icon. Select the parameter setup tab. In the name box, type time, select the vertical slider and set minimum to zero, maximum to 180, and default to four. Connect the power input to the right power briefcase. Connect the KP input to the right KP briefcase. Connect the KD input to the right KD briefcase. Connect the heading input to the right heading briefcase. Connect the pivot input to the right pivot briefcase. Connect the degrees input to the right degrees briefcase. Connect the black threshold input to the right black threshold briefcase. Connect the white threshold input to the right white threshold briefcase. Connect the range input to the right range briefcase. Connect the time input to the right time briefcase. On the screen is what your MyBlock should look like. We did some trial and error, and here are some of the values for KP and KD for our robot. The all around numbers seem to work for both turning and changing heading. We will have a video on how to change your gyro PID. Subscribe so you can get it.